All right, guys, KB32 here, check it out. So we're sitting over here in the uh, good old Freedom Studios up in the north side. Got my workbench over here, tabletop review, another workbench over there, putting the reloading stuff up there. So I'm gonna bring a bunch of that up when I come next so that I can reload stuff. So uh, first of all, uh, I wanna show you guys something. This is pretty cool. Uh, and, and this is for the fun of it, and this is what we do. Um, so say for instance, somebody sends me a scope and I always wanted to devise this thing and I wanted to be able to shoot it in some really serious high definition. And so what I've done is I took an old rail that I bought off of Amazon and this is supposed to be a cheap imitation of a guy's like, <laughs> and yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is cheap. And so I'm trying to hold this thing up so you can see it. So what I did was I've got, I run a Lumix G7, okay. Uh, one of the guys, I can't, oh goodness gracious, I can't remember. He's the one that turned me on to this thing. So I've got a couple of these and you're watching it on one and this is number two right here, which is nice because they've got some fifth thirds or whatever they have sensors in it. I used to be in the photography, got all the 5G Mark IIs and uh, you know, Canon is what I usually ran with the big old L lenses and that kind of thing, shot weddings, right? And when people say, can you shoot my kid? I go, with the camera, right? Okay, yeah. So anyway, funny, funny. And what I wanted to do was be able to mount any scope that has a one and a half inch riser on it, okay, and put it on here. So in order to do that, I had to buy just a cheap ball three quarter inch uh, riser on this end. And then what I did was I bolted spacers in here underneath this till it was actually, well, these are just flat washers. So until it was perfect. I run these with a little bit of an ARCA rail. So on the other camera that you're watching on right now has a longer arc of rail so i can actually move it back and forth and it and tune it so that it ends up running perfect with the reticle now here's the reason i'm doing this is because i deal with a lot of different reticles and the cool thing is is i'm able to now take this i can mount it on a tripod as a matter of fact i've got a tripod let me go get that i want to show it Okay, so a lot of times I'll sit up in a window. I've, I've got an apartment in a high rise and I'll just leave that as, <laughs> as it goes. Um, I'm able to lock this down and then the Koff Yager, this is the wildebeest. I can't, oh, I can't remember the name of this guy, but I'm sure that they will remind me. So I'm able to do it just like this and I can turn the screen around and I can turn this on right here. And boy, let me tell you something. It is absolutely perfect with the way these things work. And maybe, you know what, not right now. <laughs> That's kind of interesting how that, it is really unique in how that works. All right, so anyway, check out the footage of how we do this. This is pretty unique. And I thought it was something you'd be interested in watching. Um, we've got another video I'm gonna be doing later on. I want to introduce you to a young lady who is a, has a, a gun store up in Shelby lady owned business and she was really cool and it's like i nicknamed it as like the the place where everybody knows your name so anyway well let's get a hold of this thing and see how she runs watch this video y'all be good we'll always end them like this god bless america god bless those men women in uniform 24 7 for our freedom because freedom sometimes you never know comes from behind a primary arms plx one to eight with the griffin reticle <laughs> here we go stand by <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> 